We're shaking, folks. Back with another reaction. Back with some more Mozu soundtrack, which is to say I haven't been back to the J-Drama score slash soundtrack playlist in a long time. It's time to get back to that, and the reason I was spurred to return to it is I've begun a watch-along series for the Mozu show, uh, and there's also a movie, but again, that's like a hyper-condensed version that's the same story in the show, so I just recommend watching the show. Um, it is two seasons. A lot of J-dramas are just one season. This one was planned to be two in advance. First season, ten episodes. Second season, five. Um, I've only watched one episode. Now, this is all taking place on my Patreon because J-dramas, along with a lot of Japanese music, the YouTube protections on, um, or the, like, uh, copyright protections on YouTube are crazy. Like, I've tried to react to a lot of different J-drama, um, like songs or like songs in J-dramas, you know, from Japanese rock and pop groups. Pretty much like everyone has been blocked. There's a couple that I've gotten through and even then it was like the instrumental mix that ended up getting through, like the normal version didn't get through. I once tried to post like a three minute video, which, you know, for a lot of American movies and, you know, I've been going through some 70s and 80s shows and my riffs where I, you know, make jokes on old TV shows. I can post like entire episodes and it's not really a thing. I just posted a like five or six minute clip of V for Vendetta, a major like international movie, no problem. I try to post a three minute clip of a J-drama uh, months back because it was it's a really moving scene. Eventually I'll probably just do a watch along on my Patreon for that show too because um, it's amazing in a very different way than Mozu. But um, it got blocked worldwide instantly. Uh, so again, um, I don't think the J Drama watch alongs will ever be on my YouTube. Um, they'll be entirely on Patreon because there you can do that. In any case, um, it is a wicked show. It's neo noir, it's detective, it's, you know, dark. Um, it is in many ways like one of the, the harder J dramas I've ever seen in terms of you know, the toughness of the narrative, the toughness of the characters, the toughness of the, like, plot development. So, uh, top, top show. I really absolutely love it. Um, and yeah, looking forward to going through the, the actual show on Patreon. But in the meantime, I want to get back to doing the remainder of the soundtrack. Now, I've reacted to six tunes on this already. You know, I think the last time would have been like five, six months ago, um, or maybe even longer than that. Uh, but if I can remember, I'd like to get on a, the Monday schedule where I have, a, there's 13 tunes left after, I'm going to do two in this session, uh, so it'll be up to eight, and there's 21 overall. Um, oh, in fact not, there's 23, so even more than that. Bottom line, for the next several Mondays, I'd like to do at least one, if not two, of these, so we'll go through the whole soundtrack as I'm going through the show on Patreon. So. In any case, uh, the real point here is that we're going to listen to a track that translates to important key, or maybe important keys, plural. Um, in There's like a website where I found um, different J-drama soundtracks, and sometimes they're in the kanji, sometimes uh, they're actually translated, and there I saw it translated as important keys, plural, but on Google Translate, if you put in the kanjis for the song title, it translates it to, or the kanji, like, it's plural that way, uh, but it translates to important key singular. Either way, it's a detective show, and it's a dark and mysterious detective show, and those vibes are absolutely present in the track. It's dark, it's mysterious, it feels like you're trying to figure something out, but maybe the truth of it is still opaque, so let's listen. This is from the Mozu soundtrack, and in the moment, I'm actually forgetting um, who the composer is, but don't worry, because I can keyword search um, yeah, okay, so the composer for the Mozu series, that's right, it's Kano Yugo, um, who is a composer of a different show um, that I've uh, seen. In the moment, I'm forgetting, but yeah, bottom line, Kano Yugo, the Mozu soundtrack, and the tune translates to important key. <laughs>
don't know what I mean by that specifically, you should check the earlier reactions, including to the tune called Mosey, which is, you know, the sort of main um, show theme, uh, which again, the the musical or the melodic motif of the main Mozu theme shows up in a number of tracks in the soundtrack. I forgot it was in this one. I remembered it was murky and dark and um, again, sort of mysteries lurking around corners, but I forgot that it had that synth version of the Mozu melody. Incredible. Even better than I remembered. Shout out to Connor Hugo. Um, yeah, just really looking forward to re-engaging with this show after a couple of years and with the soundtrack after six, seven, eight months, something like that. So, uh, yeah, shout out to anyone who might um, check this out. Shout out to anyone who knows the show or anyone on um, uh, among my patrons who might check out the watch along. Uh, shout out to Han Solo who did check out the first episode. Appreciate you. Uh, and yeah, let me know what you think. Uh, as I said, I'm going to come back and do one more um, in this soundtrack just to get back with a, a double shot, if you will. So let me know what you think. I'll see you next time. Peace.